We know that the warmer that the climate gets, and the higher the concentrations, the more likely you are you're going to hit these tipping points. When you start looking at climate change in terms of there being only 10 years left to do anything, then you start to think, well, can we make those kind of changes to society in that time? In some way, I'm an activist as well. I would like to have a, a safe Earth, but I believe that we should focus, we should do it in the right way, and that is not rioting, that is not burning off the streets, uh, violence and so on. People do not say, I'm not going to do anything about climate change. What they've effectively said is they said, I'm not going to let this interfere with my enjoyment of the present. I'm going to wait until such point as it's actually right, right on top of me. There's a whole load of climate tipping points which are irreversible, but in terms of um, struggle and what humans do, I don't think there is such a thing. I think there's always resistance. And I kind of think there's this kind of liberal fantasy that we've got to act now or it's all over. One billion people are starving at the moment. For them, the tipping point's gone. This is what makes us sort of interesting as human beings. You know, what do we do which can actually challenge that reality? Can we, can we face off the possibility of the end? Mm -hmm.